only one week into 2023 and people are already getting on my nerves again because why the hell are we body shaming Selena Gomez now? Some of y'all need serious help. Aside from Selena Gomez getting body shamed by the entire internet, Taylor Swift and SZA also got into a fight after Taylor decided to block SZA from getting a number one album. And y'all, even Bad Bunny got canceled on social media after he got caught in multiple videos being rude to fans and snatching their phones. I wish I was joking. With that being said, let's go ahead and address the first issue surrounding Selena Gomez and people body shaming her. You know, it's funny how some people preach about body positivity daily on social media and have those treat people with kindness quotes on their bio, but then they go on their way to bully a celebrity the next day just for entertainment. Make it make sense. As we all know, Selena Gomez has been a huge topic of conversation over the last five months, ever since her documentary came out. Since then, people have been trying to start rumors about her being rude to her own friends, while others made fun of her mental illnesses and accused Selena of trying to gain sympathy for the media. Of course, a lot of people took sides with Selena in this situation and defended her, while others attacked her mostly because of how she became friends with Hailey Bieber all of a sudden, who has been a huge enemy to Selena for years. If you guys missed my previous video on Selena, basically Selena had to remove over an hour and a half of footage from her documentary that focused on her past relationship with Justin Bieber. And this behavior annoyed millions of people on social media as they were all anticipating the full truth about their toxic relationship and how it ended up leaving an impact on this generation. All this hate towards Selena, you guys, ended up piling up this week when Selena was photographed by a paparazzi while she was on vacation in Mexico. And y'all, the amount of hate comments Selena received on these pictures was insane. I mean, not only were people bullying her for getting thicker, but they were also body shaming her and trying to make fun of her weight by saying that she has been eating way too much. Just take a look at some of these comments. Oh, she's huge. The pop girly who's aging the worst, I fear. It's time to put the hot dogs down, Selena. She needs to hit the gym instead of being obsessed over pretty models. Yeah. Imagine how pathetic it is to pick on a celebrity for their weight just to gain some clout and responses on social media. But I'm glad Selena handled it the right way and avoided responding to the hate comments. Anyways, let's move on now to Bad Bunny, who received tons of backlash right now after he got accused twice of being rude to his own fans. Not gonna lie to you guys, the news about Bad Bunny this week shook me a bit because despite the successful years Bad Bunny had in 2021 and 2022, I never expected him one day to get canceled for being rude to his own fans. As we all know, Bad Bunny is one of the biggest and most successful artists on earth. In fact, he was the most talked about artist in 2022 after he launched his own tour and grossed over $435 million, which is the most of any tour in recorded history. Other than that, he even earned the biggest streaming year for any artist in Spotify history with over 20 billion streams just in one year. Can you imagine? I mean, it's crazy to think about all of his achievements, especially where he came from before his fame and success. But unfortunately, this all changed this week once a video of Bad Bunny in public went viral, where he seemed to be throwing a fan's phone in the water after they violated his personal space. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, insane. Of course, the amount of hate comments Bad Bunny received for his actions was insane, as many people attacked him for acting recklessly and being so full of himself when he should have asked the fan to just give him space instead. Despite all that, Bad Bunny issued a response on Twitter about the situation the next day, and let me just say, it disappointed tons of people. Here's what he said. The person who comes up to me to say hello, to tell me something, or just to meet me will always receive my attention and respect. Those who come to put a phone in my face, I will consider it for what it is, a lack of respect, and I will treat it like one. For an unknown reason, Bad Bunny deleted his response to the situation a couple of hours later. And to be honest, I kind of wish that he had kept his response up, considering how he got involved in another incident the next day where he got caught snatching another fan's phone at a club in the Dominican Republic.
See, if Bad Bunny were to keep his response up, he would have been dragged on social media for his hypocrisy. Because it was a clear as crystal that this fan at a club didn't invade Bad Bunny's personal space whatsoever. And for him to snatch this fan's phone while the fan wasn't even recording him is kind of wrong and immature. Can't defend him this time, let me not lie. Even if it was Beyonce, there shouldn't be a reason when you take someone's personal things and literally break them. This is getting so boring. Just because you're famous doesn't mean you have the right to steal people's phones. Y'all need to stop supporting him, his head getting too big. But let's just end today's video with SZA and Taylor Swift getting into a fight and beefing over a number one album. We all know by now how both SZA and Taylor Swift released one of the best albums in late 2022. Of course, Taylor Swift broke tons of records with her album Midnights after she took over the entire Billboard Hot 100 with her songs and received the biggest streaming year by a female artist in Spotify history with 13.9 billion streams. The same goes for SZA as well. She released her most anticipated album this year called SOS after five years. And this album was the most talked about album this year after it went viral on social media and became the first R&B album by a female artist to spend its first three weeks on the Billboard 200. Now, here's where the drama started between SZA and Taylor Swift because, as y'all know, Taylor has been getting called chart-obsessed and a scammer for releasing multiple versions of her song Antihero just to keep it stable at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. And with this decision being made, she blocked both Drake and Rihanna from getting a number one song on the Billboard Hot 100. And at this point, she even blocked Mariah Carey from getting a number one as well for her song, All I Want for Christmas, but thankfully, it went number one a month later. People thought that Taylor releasing multiple versions for one song to keep it at number one was a total scam. But this issue this week was a bit different after Taylor decided to release four digital versions of her album Midnight on her website to make her album reach number one again. And y'all, this made millions of people attack Taylor for being greedy, especially after how SZA's album was going at number one for four weeks straight. Of course, with fans dragging the situation far on social media, SZA and her team had to come up with a solution to block Taylor for playing shady games and getting number one after they decided to release digital exclusives on SZA's website as a response. And y'all, even SZA's manager went on Twitter and said this, despicable tactics. LOL. Ended Taylor Swift. SOS by SZA becomes the first R&B album by a woman to spend its first four weeks at number one on the Billboard 200 since Janet by Janet Jackson in 1993. LOL. After both SZA and Taylor started trending on social media over this drama, SZA decided to go on Twitter to clear up the rumors by defending Taylor after she clarified that she wasn't competing with her and that she was only trying her best. Uh, I feel silly that I even have to say this, but I see supporters arguing and I hate that. I don't have beef with anyone, especially not Taylor, LMAO. I genuinely loved her album and all the writing. Everyone's just trying to do their best as we all should. Love to everyone, good night. With Taylor giving zero response towards the situation, surprisingly, SZA's album surpassed Taylor and remained number one on the Billboard 200 for four weeks straight. And of course, people had some words to say about the entire situation. Check this out. Imagine pausing your rehearsals, selling 37 second audio clips for $5 and making making several remixes of a song just to lose. Taylor and her 300 remixes failed. I'm crying. It's kind of insane that SZA have to make this tweet while Taylor Swift sees her fandom drag other artists all the time for absolutely no reason and has never done or said anything about it. Anyways, loves, make sure to click on the tab above for more juicy videos on these influencers.